one for the month of September and I'm very very excited in my spirit I can I can literally feel the atmosphere shifting I can see things moving I can feel heaven opening up I can see I can I can I can perceive the things that God wants to do even in this month of September you know and it's very exciting to be found in this season you know they they are, they are there are seasons in our in our life that we must take advantage of. The scripture talking about a certain river. It says that an angel comes to that river in a particular season and stirs the waters and troubles the waters and moves the waters. And anybody that jumps in after that stirring is made whole. So there are seasons in life that you know it's as though there is a there is there, 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 there is a greater access as it were. There is a you know heaven is moving in a particular direction and once you are able to align there is a profiting that comes to your account so there are seasons that you must maximize and this September is one of such seasons I am telling you I can feel it I can feel it I can feel things busting open I can see things coming through I can see things coming further I can see the heavens opening up to people I can literally perceive God you know reaching down to earth and doing wonderful things are uh, and doing mighty things are uh, and doing glorious things hallelujah so this september is not the time to be you know to be like a desica it's not a time to just ah whatever happens happens uh, whatever will happen will happen nothing will happen that is meant to happen if you don't do something about it uh. so don't approach november from a point of laxity don't approach Sorry, don't approach September, September from a point of laxity. No, don't do that, don't do that. Even in the physical realm, the ninth month is the month of betting. You know, maybe I guess that's why these things are happening in the ninth month. Then the, the, the ninth month is the month of betting. The first month, second month, third month, fourth month, the baby is locked up in the womb. Oh, Shekadanan, the Rusta Balata. The sixth month, the seventh month, the eighth month, is the baby is still there. There is something you can feel it in your in your in your womb as a woman you can feed the baby there but the baby stays there until the ninth month at the ninth month there is now the bringing forth of that which has been locked up on your inside so for for a lot of persons there are some things that are locked up in your in your in your spirit man a lot of promises and prophecies a lot of things that god has made available to you that god has made known to you you have read the scripture and particular things jumped at you and you are like yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. It's locked. It is, it is there. The promises are there, and it's as though they are tarrying. Oh, but this ninth month, the month of betting, God is going to be bringing forth everything, everything He has put in us. Oh, shake up, balance, rust, balance. Oh, set the palia. So don't approach. You know, the pregnant woman, she doesn't approach her betting, her betting time with 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 laxity. No. No, 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 no. She makes all manner of preparations. Even when she goes for Antinata, they, they, they give her a list of things to buy, a list of things. that like, Those are preparations for the present timer. Those are preparations for the present timer. So, in um, and likewise, in the realm of the spirit, there are preparations you make to be able to bring forth your, your, your word of prophecy, to bring forth your proposal, to bring forth the things locked up in your belly in the, in the, in the present season the betting season in the betting season so don't approach your betting season you know you know without any manner of preparation no that is the reason god is 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 so particular about this month about this season there is an opening in the atmosphere and i want you to maximize that opening i want you to maximize that portal i want you to maximize it if it means taking a fast please do take a faster and uh, as a matter of fact that we are we are we are we have started um, 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 a, a, a fast for the month of September. If you've not started, you can join in. Uh, you can join uh, to be able to align yourself to what God is doing so that you will not miss out of your betting time. Uh, Jesus looked over the city of Jerusalem uh, at a particular time and he wept over that city. He says, for they do not know the time of their visitation. Uh, they do not know the time of their salvation. Uh, they don't realize, recognize when God uh, is visiting 
them to change their story may that not be your story you will re- you will know you will realize that you will acknowledge the time of your visitation and you will maximize that time in the name of jesus amen so you are welcome you know last week you know while um, i was starting that video i made mention of a particular scripture uh, about about children coming to the birthing place and having no strength that scripture you know i didn't it was not something i thought about it just came little did i know did, did i little did i know that um it was what god was set to do it was what god was pointing our hearts to so that scripture is in the book of isaiah chapter 37 and verse 3 you know hezekiah was speaking he says and they said unto him thus saith hezekiah this day is a day of trouble and of rebuke and of blasphemy for the children are come to birth but there is not strength to bring forth it means that hezekiah was also recognizing a particular season that is the time for children to come to the place of better he said the children have come to that place of better there is something on their inside there is something they want to give birth to but he said that there is no strength that there is not even an there is not enough strength to bring forth that that thing in the place of birth. That was the scripture that you know, you know, you know that God brought in the last um, prayer video, the last prayer we had last week Saturday, and you know I just mentioned it, and then we continued praying. You know, but over the um, last seven days, God has you know unveiled that scripture further, and that's the reason um, we are taking a fast. So um, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, um, 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 the Encounter Network, you know, there's a group of believers called the, the Encounter Network, you know, we meet there to pray and to study the word. So if you have, you have not joined that group, it's better you do that so that you can align with these 30 days of fasting to be able to bet because when it comes to betting, you must prepare, you must, you must maximize strength, you must have a particular, um, 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 threshold of strength to be able to push through and breath that which is on your inside and if you don't have that strength you cannot bring forth that regardless of the number of promises regardless of you know if god said this is your season to get married this is your season to get a better job to explode in your business to um rise higher to grow to grow to to become a better version of yourself if you do not have strength to push through into that realm even though God has, has it locked up on your inside. It will not be made manifest. And the scripture says, hope that um, 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 that tarries rotting the bone. Do you understand? So when you receive the promise of God and he has tarried, and the result of the tarrying is, is um, the, the reason for the tarrying is that you don't have strength to bet it forth. It can result to you being worried. It worries your bones. It worries your bones. So um, I want you, I encourage encourage you even if it's a personal time of fasting and prayer for throughout this month of september to that so that you can align with what heaven is doing oh zenama kande barahasia can you just begin to thank the lord and we have come to the place of britain we have come to the month of britain shai don skelam barasko velata resu se falante keisko benetas kiaha eresko fenete soto bavalante kada ereso lia tanke tons kabalata menene mosheria kabaras de veletene and soi don pene kabaras kabalata begin to worship the God of seasons. He is the God of seasons. And Sidon's Kepela Rusa Balata. Abbas Galete. Resopele Kababa Balata. Eresoida Candele de Moshen de Roscobo Rovara Haliata. Rascopele Teida Babanteski de He. And Sidon's Kabeha. Mamandes Kabalatosia. Can you say, Father, I thank you for bringing us this season? For making this season available to us, uh, for opening up the portals of heaven. Uh, oh, Zeleka Baraske Velete, Menensko Veletina Mamatanske Berabalata, Eresko Veletamba Balandoske Balata, Erakadonske Pelene Mantelene Mojaram Daraske Velete, and Sidan Denske Veleta. Jesus, we thank you for this season. We thank you for what you are doing in this season. Now, let me let me let me help you understand something about seasons when you talk about seasons you know when 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 it is the season for something there is you just apply minimal effort and that thing happens 
so if you don't maximize seasons you would you would exert a greater level um, um, a greater level of strength when that is not in season for example if this is the season of um mangoes you would you would literally see mangoes littered all over the streets you would easily be able to purchase you will still pay a price for it but the price you will pay will be lesser than the one you will pay when mango is not in season do you understand so there is a season god has opened up unto us and i want you to maximize it so the first prayer we'll be praying um is from the book of hebrews hebrews chapter 11 before we start we will we'll, we'll pray for strength but there is something i want us to pray about first of all before we pray for strength i know there are promises we received that there are promises of um um um, um, um you getting married promises of you having a, a better job moving to your own house getting your own land you know you know you know um, um fulfilling your purpose doing that thing that god has created you to do there are things that is that are locked up in your in your belly but i want us to start from this particular prayer hebrews chapter 11 verse 11 it says through faith also sarah herself received strength to conceive seed so there is the place of conceiving seed and it requires strength to conceive that seed so yes you would have heard some promises from god but there is a place of conception that place of conception is beyond hearing is is a place where you look upon the promise and conceive it in your spirit it's as though it comes alive in your spirit it is at that point that something that that seed actually is is you know begins to grow on the inside of you so i want you to pray and say father help me give me the strength to conceive seed every word of promise you've given me help me to conceive it in my heart in my spirit in the name of jesus you say by you know by faith sarah herself was able to conceive seed so the first point of god is to be able to conceive to be able to conceive that which god wants to do no skate ruski veleto baba resoito bonos kabalata can you say that my eyes are enlightened my eyes are able to see i am able to capture that which god wants to do in my life even in this season in the times to come in the name of jesus open the eyes of my understanding open the eyes of my understanding oh genesco perisco veletena eresoi dimana tonskabaha i want to see i want to know eresoi le comparasco peinasco tenene ele nonsia the scripture will say call unto me and i will answer you i will show you great and mighty things which you do not know can you say lord open my eyes to great and mighty things that i don't know in the name of jesus open my eyes as i don't sepen a copelacia resume meneka babalania stonata my eyes of understanding they are flooded with light in the name of jesus i am illuminated illuminated with your light in the name of jesus the spirit of wisdom of understanding of revelation rest upon me i see i conceive those things manasco feleska rasco pelenantos y felete resute peleco palatanacadia Oh, shatana na mama kazia. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me break it down for you. You know, when you look at the scripture, for example, or when you hear a man of God preach and he, and there is a word that jumps at you, that is something that God wants to do. But if you do not conceive the seed, you will lose that word. That's um, in, the, in the parable of the sower, the, 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 um, Jesus speaking says that some seed, fell by the wayside and when they fell by the wayside he said birds came and picked them so when seeds don't have roots when they have not been conceived the enemy will come and he will steal the seed from you and you will not bring anything forth so the place of conception is the place where 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 the word of prophecy where the promise of god where the 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 the, the, the thing that god has revealed to you you sit upon it you incubate it and then it's conceived in your heart in your spirit 
So can you begin to pray and say, Lord, help me. Give me the strength to conceive. It takes strength to conceive seed. It takes strength. It takes strength for you to sit upon that word. It takes strength for you to sit upon that word until it is conceived. It takes strength. Can you say, Lord, supply me with this strength in my inner man. Residon Pakata. Resina. I will not be losing my word up and down. I will not be losing my seeds up and down. In the name of Jesus, I conceive them. Me Rosaide Manaskapan. Recite us in sepelete. Rabapapapalanaskapelete. Reprenda knows that those things we have spoken about my business. I receive strength to conceive them. Those things we've spoken to me uh, about my spouse uh, I receive strength to conceive them uh, in the name of Jesus uh, those things you've revealed to me about my purpose my destiny I receive strength to conceive them uh, they are not stolen from me Randy Skoida Merenos Ante Pelakaba Raski Belenes Kaitonsa they are not stolen from me in the name of Jesus Jesus, they are not stolen from me. In the name of Jesus, they are not stolen from me. In the name of Jesus, Basaito Malataske Baraski Velete, Resaita Baba Baba Katias Gombeletena, Eraski Bosca Palanada, Ratata Baba Baba Baba, Menenos Ante Prosco Prenderisco Balata, Mababasia, Menons Baba Baba, Amandes Coborosca Baba Baba Badanka, Rasta Pendesca. Baka Esketika Barataska Raske Pelataka Baba Baha Akesko Bon Terrasko Balata Raske Pelenasko Bon Palata Meteko Boko Bahaka Raske Peletoska Palata You know the job description of the of the of the devil is that he comes to steal her Meroska Baha but he will not steal my seed her Mere Saido Kobonokoto Raske Pelenteska Balata Eskambetaskia Can you just pray her the the devil will not steal your seed. Huh? Your seed is not stolen. Eraskepelata, ma ba 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 ha. Raska ba 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 ha. Raska ba 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 ha. Raska ba 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 ha. Raskepelade ba 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 ha. Eska ba 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 la katosia. Now imagine, imagine a couple that their seed have been stolen. They cannot, they cannot bring forth children. They cannot bring forth children. Imagine, ah, so it is in the realm of the spirit. When you don't have the seed, when you have not conceived any seed, when the word of God you receive is stolen from you, you cannot bring forth anything. Regardless of how exciting the word of God is to you, you cannot bring forth anything because you have not conceived the word. You have not conceived the word. He said that which was from the beginning first john chapter 1 verse 1 that which was from the beginning which we have heard which we have seen which we have looked upon there must be a conception it is the place of looking upon that you are able to conceive i declare over you you will conceive every seed that god has in mind for you every promise of god to you that is specific to you i declare you conceive them in the name of Jesus, you will not lose your seed. The enemy will not steal your seed. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not steal your seed. In the name of Jesus, the enemy will not steal your seed. In the name of Jesus, amen. I see you, somebody. There is a a, a, a pain in your in your in your in your in your abdomen. In your abdomen, that's your um what's people call stomach in your stomach region your abdominal region there is a pain there can you just put your hands right there as i declare in the name of jesus i release the healing power of god over you i rebuke that spirit of infirmity i declare over you out in the name of jesus i declare over you the spirit of infirmity leaves your body now in the name of jesus i command you spirit of infirmity out in the name of jesus i I release the healing power over you. That pain is gone in the name of Jesus. That pain is gone in the name of Jesus. That pain is gone in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Now, the second the second prayer we'll be making is the strength to bring forth. There is the strength to conceive and there is the strength to bring forth. That's what we read in the book of Isaiah chapter 37 and verse 3. Where Isaiah was saying that this is the day of trouble, a day of blasphemy. Because when you conceive and you don't bring forth, it brings blasphemy to you. 
is 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 counted is regarded as a day of trouble as a day of blasphemy he said for the children have come to the place of birth but they don't have strength to bring forth so you are there and there are a lot of promises you've conceived in your heart a lot of promises you've seen about your purpose about your business about your marriage and <laughs> and right now there's nobody that you are, you are even in you are, that you are even cutting but you've seen that promise you've conceived it about your marriage about your family about your academics about anything whatsoever you have seen it you've seen the promise but you are not bringing them forth about good health it's as though you are you are you are currently going through a cycle of sickness health sickness healing sickness healing but you have you have seen that there is a place for health in the scripture there's a place where you can stay and you will not fall sick and you are saying lord how will i bring this thing forth it requires a strength there is a strength required for your breathing process to be able to birth the promise of god you require a certain level of strength and so we'll be praying tonight that we will that we receive strength to breath in the name of jesus every promise canon tells you none dies in us <laughs> no 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 we are not of them that 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 that, that promises die in their hands nothing dies in our hands nothing no promise of god <laughs> dies in my hands in the name of jesus can you just go ahead and begin to declare that you have the strength those here tanian scopalania the spirit of god supply strength in your in a man to be able to bring forth that which you have locked up on the inside. Oh, Jekaido, in your university days, there were a lot of things you saw that God spoke to you and says, My son, my daughter, this is what will be fulfilled in your life. Oh, Parasune Kamana Naskune Meneta Merusaliata, but you are lacking the strength to bring forth. Can you begin to pray and say, Lord, in this month of September, Resida Babalantos Kepelanata Manas. There is a supply of strength by your spirit in the name of Jesus. There is a supply of strength. I receive the supply of strength. There is an energy, a dunamis on my inside. Ask it again, menene no skabarras kebeleta, maman tenene kabababale rens kebelena man tenene maha, rabababababa hakayanda nana mamma raskabelete, raskemele de mantele de bojaha, rasoida maito kombele do ravaria di manate ne kabalanate, leno no no mamma malakayele de mojeriam de radebereber tabala tabalata. Oh, you are there and you are and you know you've been trusting god over a number of years and you are at that point where you are like does this thing work does this thing really work does this thing really work and you just want to you want to you're at that point of giving up god is bringing a word to you this night that the reason you have not brought forth is not because god has not promised it's not because these things don't work they work is it's, it's not because it's not because there's something wrong with you is because you lack the strength to bring forth you have you lack the strength to bread what is on your inside so you can you can feed the baby in your womb you can feed the thing pushing you can feel it moving it's alive but the strength to bring it to physical reality is what you lack and god is saying i want you in the next seven days dedicate the next seven days to prayer and fasting and ask the spirit of god to supply strength he's the one that supplies strength the scripture speaking in ephesians chapter 3 from verse 16 he says for this cause i bow my knees and one of the things paul apostle was praying about he said that you will be strengthened with might in your inner man by the holy ghost it is the holy ghost that supplies strength it is the holy ghost that supplies energy in us it is the holy ghost it is key you have been doing it by your might you have been doing it by your own power but the scripture says not by power not by might but by my spirit 
says the Lord. He says, you've been doing it by your might. You've been trying to bet that thing that you've received by your might. He said, Apostle Paul was speaking to them. He said, you have started in the spirit. Do you want to end in the flesh? Why are you continuing in the flesh? So what you received, you received by the spirit. Why are you now engaging it with the flesh? Through the flesh. It was just like the story of Abraham. He received the promise by the spirit. And along the way, he wanted to bet it by the flesh. And he betted Ishmael. May you not bet Ishmael. Kasuze Tanakabalatia. May you not bet Ishmael. Resuya. Zesuke Pelatia. Akus Esuse Kebentos Tapalada. You will not bet Ishmael. La Russia. Zesudie Kopokotosia. Antenene Suno Mekabarosilia Tanya. Your Isaac. You will bet in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jacada Baraske Velania. Can you just go ahead? Begin to. Thank the Lord for having helped us tonight. Ha. Le barros que velen tan desquivelen na maman desquivalata. As usual, you know, that the prayer is ending now does not mean you have to stop praying. You, 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 I encourage you to keep on pressing in, keep on pressing in. Pray for this strength that we are, that we are, that we are, that we are, that we prayed for tonight. Ku belen dos tavaran telebe. Rosti belen anzie tete ke ben dos kabalata. Ereso no mono venene kamala da da da. Ereso de belen. Talia, de de bantos di velete, rasco belenante na na noja talia. He says the young men they will utterly fall, they will be destroyed. He says, but they that wait upon the Lord, say they will renew their strength. Then they will be able to mount up with wings, and they will soar. They will be able to run and not be weary. They will be able to walk and not faint. That was how. That was how Elijah received the strength of the spirit and he ran ahead of the chariot of the horses of the king do you understand do you understand do you understand so i encourage you in this month in this month of september i want you to approach it with 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 with, with a particular sense of should i say urgency with a particular just sense that this month is an unusual month and do everything within your mind your, your mind to enter that which god has opened up for us so i encourage you if you've not started the fast start the fast if you are looking for a group you know every morning we have prayer points we have scripture that we are looking at you can join the encounter network on telegram um i'm um, just um um the U- url is um, t.me slash the encounter network the link will be in the description so if you want to join kindly join the group and go with us on this journey thank you and god bless you do have a wonderful night rest i want you to also share the video let people a lot of persons come to um, um join what we are doing what god is doing through this prayer um prayer times thank you god bless you and you have a wonderful night rest bye mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.